I'm in the shop here. Got the boat pulled under the under the hoist. So um, basically, just to recap where we're at here, I gutted out the whole back of this boat, all the bench, all the seats, all that good stuff. Took that all out, and whatever boat you have, you'll want to do that. Just because you just need room to get to stuff. And so, um, anyway, it's all like pretty much wood screws and little, like, standard bolts. So nothing serious there. So um, as for what I've done so far, I pulled off the manifold on this side and the riser. Undid that from the exhaust and then the couple water lines that go to it. One being this guy and the one underneath right there. And, um... Then also this filter bracket I took off so I could get that off of there. And that was really just so I could get the plugs out. And then on this side, I'm going to probably do the same because it has these Corsa cap back, or, uh, captain's calls. And they're kind of in the way. So I'm just going to take those loose and so I can get some access to the bell housing bolts and go from there. Um, also another thing I did was this this is the drive um, control for all the cables and everything and basically there's one two and three bolts that are studs basically that go through the side of this bracket so I just took the bracket off I'm not gonna really disturb hopefully almost any of this cableage um, I'm hoping to just kind of zip tie it up and out of the way and pull the motor out so I got this one wire to undo I'll go right there and uh, yeah, just start unplugging some stuff. Um, I'm going to leave the carb on it. I'm going to leave the intake manifold on it, hopefully. I'm going to um, just undo the the fuel line right there. Um, and we'll just keep digging. So, anyway, that's where we're at so far. I got the... This would be the starboard side of the boat. I got the um, exhaust manifold off. And the riser is out, and this line here and that line there were both hooked up to the manifold, which looks to be quite a bit newer than that one if I'm judging by appearance. The, uh, the risers all look about the same. Nothing, I mean, I don't know, they look fine, but anyway, so, and then I undid my fuel line right there. So, um, honestly, this is getting kind of close here, so I just need to, there's a couple wires I need to undo, and then I need to undo the water coming from the stern, which I assume has something to do with that guy right there, but anyway, I'll figure it out, but we'll just keep plugging away. Like I say, I think those exhaust cutouts, I think I want to get those out, because they're just in the way of everything. So, might do that now. Alright, another probably 10 minutes, 20 minutes of work here, but the, the cap and wires were just kind of in the way. So I just undid those four, one, two, three, four screws there on the ring on the, for the cap. Pulled that off, got the wires out of the way. Then here's where the coil is located right there, kind of tucked behind. Some real Chevy stuff there, tucking all the electronics way in the back, but anyway, so then this guy, this reservoir normally sits like right in here, it kind of like slides into that bracket right there, kind of like that. So you just pull him off, so that's nice, you don't have to screw around with that. Then a couple wires that come unplugged right here somewhere, here is one of them, and here's the other one right there, those two. So undo those pair, and then... You know, honestly, again, a lot of this harness can stay on. You just um, unplug this connector right here. It just pulls out. Get that undone. And then, uh, like I say, I got the captain call out. So I just need to uh, get the other side off. Here's your, here's your exhaust flapper right there that keeps water from rushing back up the stern drive for whatever reason. So, um, anyway... That's where we're at right now. Um, this guy should be able to, I just have to cut a zip tie there. And then this guy should be able to kind of flop back over into this corner and get away from me there. 
So actually not too bad. So I'm gonna get on the other side and do about the same stuff. Okay, I've been cruising along here and I pulled out those two pins. See behind that middle red wire there? The, of the wires, there's a, oh man, bad videography here. But there's a little pin, it's actually huge. A pin that goes through there. So I think, I don't have the outdrive pulled at all right now. Nothing is done on the outdrive at all. So I think it can slide forward only. So um, I pulled, pulled that out. And then there's another one on the other side. One second. Right there. So that one's pulled too. And so I'm pretty sure that'll take the flywheel housing, I think is what it's called. That's what's in there. And uh, leave the transom. So I need to take off my motor mounts. I'm probably going to do that one and that one so it can slide directly forward. I haven't decided there. Maybe I'll do the the stud and lift it off. <clears throat> but I don't really want to bind it up. So I'm still still kind of deciding on that, but anyway, I think this is the right way to go, but I don't really know. So we're just gonna see. Alright, well we got some progress here. So I was right. Or at least apparently right. Take those two bolts out of each mount, mm. right there. See those two that are gone? And you see the outline was right there. And they are those lag bolts right there. They just go down into the stringer, so you get those out. And then those pins, remember I took those two larger pins out. Those two pins, you pull those up, and then it's just splined in. So it just cruises right forward. And actually what I was doing, I was just trying to get a little pressure on it. And sure enough, it started sliding, so I didn't fight it. So I started just kind of rolling forward and this is where we are. We got probably a foot gap there, I suppose. So, I mean, if you were gonna do anything with the transom, you probably could do a lot of it right here and not even actually pull this thing out, but um, anyway, so the steering lines, that big hoop and the other one right there, they go, go to this ram that goes back and forth. Anyway, one of them comes down and goes down to like the, um, the water intake line which that must be like a probably a cooler or something I'm not really sure but I'm assuming that's what it is and the other one and then it comes out of the cooler and comes up underneath and ends up in the back of the power steering pump and then the other one comes up lays on top of the valve cover kind of and runs all the way back home so anyway I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do there um, I don't really want to open the system so I might just take the pump off of the engine and just leave it here or I might just drain it I don't know I haven't really decided yet so anyway that's how that that all works you can see as it goes along here so yeah um, the oil filter and everything else is gonna stay on there so yeah oh, there's a socket weight on in there cool free tools so anyway that's the story, that's how this all looks. Oh, I, and then that, that white elbow right in the middle of the shot, that went to that water line right there and that's the water intake, so you gotta undo that. And then there were a couple wires. This one here, I accidentally yanked that one out. That one's grounded on the back of the block right there. So you can see the old crimp that is gone. And then there's another one, a little guy right there. You can just see him kind of chilling right down in there. Right there that one he was on the back of the block too so anyway uh, looks like power steering and then throttle cable my throttle cable I gotta undo that too so I'll do that now okay another step complete I got the uh, I decided to take those two power steering lines off right there at the ram it was just easier it was either way it was gonna bleed all out so it was like kind of one of them deals so water lines undone um, I really don't see anything here left over, so I'm going to start uh, start lifting and make sure it comes out okay. We'll see what we get.
it is up and out. Kind of see, this is more of a reference for me, honestly, to see how everything goes here. But yeah, these these tabs on, on this boat don't do anything. It just, it just rests on the two mains, these two main supports right here and there and splines in, so no big deal. So I'm gonna get this boat out from underneath it, get the engine down, resting on something, a tire, I don't care anything, and then I can start uh, peeling away the layers on that one, so.